walls are mine I built up the fears and foolish hopes Won't you please Blow me open Burn these bridges All right. It's really cold, right? <laughs> I don't think I was actually created for cold weather. I think, you know, like some animals are just like, like some, li like some lizards just die if you put them in cold. Not that I'm a lizard, but. Some of them die. Some of them go into hibernation. You yeah. Think they're dead and then you or partial them. hibernation. Wow, I'm glad he doesn't have a mic because he just said something really weird. <laughs> I'm still glad you don't have a mic. <laughs> you heard him? You heard him, but they didn't. It's actually called brumation. It's partial hibernation. You go into bromation. Yeah, life's weird. Have you ever watched yourself watching a movie before? If you haven't, I suggest you try it sometime. You'll find it's as entertaining as the story on the screen, and it's where stuff really happens, if you know what I mean. And we feel agony or elation, depending on the scene. Our necks and our shoulders bunch up when a character screams, and we accept it all as reality, just as we do our dreams. I mean, life would be a, a grand comedy if we didn't have to play a role. Bless his soul, the king of droll, wavy gravy once said. And if it's true that when we're dead, the whole thing plays like a movie through the oxygen-deprived head, front to back with all the beauty and strife. Can I bring my Mac to the afterlife? Because I've got Final Cut Pro, and I'd like you to know I'd love to take a shot at editing and improving the footage that I've got. 
while I'm at it, I'd like a word with the writer. I mean, don't you think this plot could be a hell of a lot tighter? And honestly, I'd like to know how it ends. Does the main character pass away surrounded by friends, by love? As the credits roll, does he float off to some nice place up above? scenes to go. No way. No way to know. Under the unrelenting gaze of who I was in younger days I analyzed the movie of my life With exuberance and shame I scrutinize each frame To determine what should go under the knife But I never seem to get it I don't have the power to edit All I can do is write what's yet to be And keep replaying scenes like self-induced Recurring dreams to search for themes that might predict my destiny. So far, so strange, so life is change. This film unfolds, this tale is told. So full of grace, so
Thanks. snowed in with a bunch of friends of mine, uh, the, the first big snow, and, it, and they were all songwriters, and you know, we broke out the eggnog, and before we knew it, we were like, okay, we have to write a Christmas song, so we had like 24 hours to write it, so um, this is what we came up with. I, I don't really know it yet, but I have, I have it written out here, so I'm going to fake it, um, but this is called The True Meaning of Christmas, and if you really want... You can search for it on YouTube. Search for True Meaning of Christmas and then in parentheses, Puppet Song, because we actually made a video of it with puppets where we were all like, I, I actually had the elephant and the chicken, and they popped up behind the couch and were like, the true meaning of Christmas. Anyway, you got to check it out. It's an awesome video. Yeah. yeah that's, cool. that's pretty awesome. You'll have to decide if that's actually true. So. Yeah, your family should watch it as long as they're open-minded.
Think about it this way if you never have before. Maybe Jesus' birth was a symbolic metaphor. We put him on a pedestal where he would hate to sit. If he were in a grave, he'd surely roll around in it. So at this time of year, we like to celebrate his birth by borrowing from pagans who were worshiping the earth. And mystical traditions have the same message to say that we are God reborn again on every Christmas day. It's the true meaning of Christmas. It's not often taught in Sunday school. It's the true meaning of Christmas. What Jesus really stood for, what's so cool? Was it the Council of Nicaea who dumbed the whole thing down? Or popes who wanted power and control of Roman towns. The Gnostics and the Cathars at least were hip to this. The kingdom is within us when we're following our bliss. That's the true meaning of Christmas. Not the one they sell you on TV. It's the true meaning of Christmas. Not the latest movie. From Disney. Of course it's fun to shop for toys and decorate your home with sparkling lights and mistletoe and snowmen made of foam. Who'd deny a kid the joy of presents beneath a tree? Do you need proof of Santa Claus before you can believe in the truth? A fat man dressed in red and white The true meaning of Christmas That we all have a little God inside A baby in a manger sure sounds innocent to me And innocence is lacking at this point in history We could use a little as an antidote to all our Facebook feeds. Sorry if I offended any of you with my Gnostic interpretation of Christianity, but you know, you're in Asheville, what are you gonna do? How's everybody feeling? Yeah? You, are you, have you started uh, imbibing yet? Because the more you drink, man, the better we sound. You know what I'm saying? We're all about leftover wine. Yeah. Right now. Leave, leave some for us. All right. We'll do another original song. Let's do, uh, Chase this is a song. What was that? Is there another band? Like above us? Somewhere on the roof? Oh, it's below us, okay. Yeah, we played down there last week, and the band was above us, so it's confusing. But um, this is a song called Shade of Blue, and this is sort of about, you know when you're like, you love somebody, but you're like standing across from them, and you realize that like, you're both like completely down in the dumps because you're so disconnected from each other, and... See, the thing is that if you would both actually just feel that, then you would be paradoxically connected. So that's what this song is about.
has his reasons Maybe if we only knew The lines in our faces Would ease into graces And we'd be such a beautiful shade of blue If you could stitch the blue writing song. Actually, it's not. It was written way before him. Bing Crosby actually did a version of this before Otis did, but let's just face it. Otis's version of it was so good, no one else's matters. <laughs> oh, she may be weary And young girls, they do get weary Wearing the same old Shaggy dress, yeah, yeah. But when she gets weary, you got to try a little tenderness, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. You won't regret it, no, no. Girls, they don't forget it Cause love is the whole happiness yeah, yeah. But wow, she's there waiting And without them, try Little tenderness not just sentimental, no, 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 but she has her grief and cares, yeah, 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 but the soft words, they are spoke so gentle, yeah, it makes it, it makes it
Thank you so much. My name is Jeff Thompson. This is Taylor Pearson on the keys. And behind me, that's Jake Cavender on the drums. <laughs> he was, he's talking back there, but he has no mic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> How many of you can actually hear him? <laughs> All right, those, the five of you are going to appreciate yeah, he needs a mic. Is any of you named Mike? You could just repeat what he's saying loudly. <laughs> you done? Yeah, cool. All right. <laughs> Da 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 da
That's called The Will of the Water, and that's on a CD that I have back there. I got free stickers. I got a mailing list. I've got a CD I'm sold out of that you could not have. But there's one that I'm not sold out of that you're welcome to get. And I think you could get the other one, like, online or something. CD Baby or iTunes or Spotify or all those other things. Probably new ones I don't know about. A troublemaker back there. <laughs> um, so, uh, is everybody psyched for Hope Griffin and her gigantic band? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big Hope fan. So, yeah, especially when she looks like an elf. <laughs> um, how much time do I have left, roughly? <laughs> are you, are you actually have a watch on, or are you just looking at your wrist? Oh, okay. You still wear watches? Wow. Well, Ooh, how retro. Okay, cool. Well, then uh, I'll do one more. I'm going to do one. I'm going to try to do something. I'm going to try to do a mashup of my favorite song that's almost a Christmas song with one that is a Christmas song. Isn't that kind of cool? Don't you wonder what I'm talking about now? Sort of, kind of. Um, okay. what happens. This will be interesting. It's Taylor Pearson on the keys and Jake Cavender on the drums. I'm Jeff Thompson and this is uh, a song I, I did not write. If I had written this song I would I would be in the Bahamas. It's just one. Your faith was strong, but you needed proof. You saw her bathing on the roof. Her beauty in the moonlight overthrew ya. And she tied you to the kitchen chair. She broke your throne and she cut 
Cut your hair from your lips She true Hallelujah 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 I'm going to harmonize y'all with the part Hallelujah How do we sound? Those of you who aren't singing Play bells, sort of. <laughs> well, maybe there is a God above, but all I've ever learned from love was how to shoot somebody who I truly have. Oh, but it's not a cry that you hear at night And it's not somebody who's seen the light It's a call and it's a broken hallelujah
I'm Jeff Thompson, Hope Griffin, and her 37-piece 30, band are coming up next. By the way, just to plug this, I have a Radiohead tribute band, and we're playing through um, two hours of Radiohead tunes at the Moth Light on January 11th. You should come. It's called Off With Your Radiohead. <laughs> 